Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Kamala Mundano Legend on this channel is Kuluma Reality TV shows on my celebrities and in my YouTubers. So listen, you guys, a few days ago, I did report on a story that took place in Durban where a metropolitan cop had uh, stabbed his uh, girlfriend and a mother of his unborn child to death and filmed the whole thing. Now, you guys, on the Moja, there's another story that they have published where this gospel singer, I think her name is Funana Nimbezi, and she was part of the praise, um, uh, praise and Worship Project. I think it's the name of the choir, and she was the lead singer there. And she was at church on Saturday in the evening, and the husband walked in with a gun, uh, fired shot at her, and she passed away immediately. You guys, may her soul rest in peace. Condolences to the family, to the friends, to church members, to uh, choir mates, and everybody that knew her, you guys. That is what happened this past weekend. There's something about the Easter weekend, you guys, where you just feel like, I don't know, you want to get in in a hole or something and hide until the weekend is over because weird things happen. But when it comes to, like, women um, killings in South Africa, it's becoming a pandemic. The unfortunate thing is that uh, the government will never treat it as such. You know how we had COVID, you guys, and uh, we, had we were on lockdown because they were trying to figure out how to manage this thing. And they were like, the, wor the worst thing that can happen is for everybody to get sick. So at this point, stay where you are. Stay at home. If you have a family member that is possibly affected, you know, lock them up in a separate room. Imagine if they would treat, you know, women killing like that, killings like that, where they're like, listen, this is a pandemic. So let's let's just stay where we are. Let's be on lockdown. Women should be in rooms somewhere isolated until we can, we can figure out which men are infected by this crazy disease of a thought to kill your partner. You know, let's find out which, which men are infected. And then after they figure it out, then we, we can be let go. I wish that it can be treated like that, but it will never be treated like that because I don't know, so I guess, you know, the life of a woman sometimes is not as uh, valuable, you know. And also another issue is that on that video that I was doing, I did mention that people are talking about this thing of say, you know, saying it's because the guy is Zulu. And I'm like, guys, if only you were paying attention, you will realize it has nothing to do with what nationality, what tribe or whatever. It's so much. It's so fairly distributed all over, you know. So I did wonder even with this guy, I wonder what people are going to say with this guy because maybe he's not Zulu. So what are they going to say here, you guys? It's a pandemic. It's in the whole of South Africa. It doesn't matter what nationality uh, you are, you guys. And it's sad because women die while they're trying to walk out of a relationship. Sometimes they die where they've already walked out of the relationship. Like the, the person will be just mad that you broke up with them and they can see you moving on with your life. Women die because they stay in relationships. So you can't even say to a woman, walk away because sometimes the walking away is what gets them killed you can't say okay stay put until it's safe when is it going to be safe because sometimes it's too late by the time they can walk out it's too late so i just do wonder you guys sometimes women are killed because they ignore the advances you know or they don't respond the way that the the the, the, the man is, is wanting them to respond and they're killed so we can't even say don't get into a relationship because there have been people that have been killed because they did not, um, they were not receptive to the advances. So when is it going to end? How is it going to end? I think it's a sad thing. It really is. Somebody had a nerve to walk in a church with a gun and shoot his wife. And then after that, he just decided he's going to go and hand himself over. To the police you're still living you're still alive why are you still alive i'm sorry but why is it still alive if you know what i mean but anyway you guys that's what happened it's very very sad may her soul rest in peace of um betsy and condolences to everybody that knows her you guys we hope we'll see in south africa they finally 
you know, do pay attention to what's happening with uh, the killing of women and children. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before you're going to share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Uganda.